point so, did you decide that um, this was the right, the right lady for you? I mean, well, um, gradually. I, mean, I suppose towards the end of the summer and the autumn last year, and uh, I began to realise, you know, what to, was going on in my mind and, and, and hers in particular, and uh, all these things help. But, uh, you know, it was a gradual business. Did you find it a very hard decision, Lady Diana? I had a long time to think about it, because I knew the pressure was on, both of us. And um, well, it wasn't a difficult decision in the end. It's what I wanted. It's what I want. And you, I haven't, a... uh, you haven't seen the ring. May we have a look at your... Yes. Uh, is it... Wonderful sapphire and diamond. When, when were you given that? Uh, just last night? Or? No, Sunday. And, but not wearing it no. yesterday. No, it hidden. pretty hidden. <laughs> and when did, you, when did you tell the Queen that this was what you wanted to do? Well, about three weeks ago. So, um, as I say, we've had to sit on it and hide it for three weeks, which hasn't been all that easy. Mm. But I was absolutely determined that it was going to be uh, as near a secret as possible on the actual day. That was my ambition. But you're both obviously excited, and, but it must have been awfully difficult trying to keep that secret, actually. Yes. Very good for us. And very good for <laughs> good practice. Yes. <laughs> and good for the people we told, too. Mm. Quite interesting to see who can keep secrets. But it, did, <laughs> but it did pop up in the Times this morning, 